So we're back with another request. This time it's from Almighty Los, and what he's asking for here is he wants a kind of in-between from endless waves and infinite respawning of a single wave or AI spawner. So he doesn't want like a bunch of waves just to happen at once and then you move on to the next wave. And he doesn't want just a big group happening all at once. He wants kind of a, like an in-between. So to get them to infinitely respawn once, the, once the squad is all cleared, but the uh, the only the spawner that spawned them. So for example, if you have three AI spawners and you want them to always respawn the AI once they are killed, but only the spawner that has all of its AI killed. So they act all three on their own with endless spawning and won't respawn all at one single time, but separately as their own squad is killed completely. So spawn AI spawner one will only respawn the AI on AI Spawner 1 once all of them are killed. So then now you have three that will, or however many you have on there, will then spawn right after that. And the other two are unaffected and they will still have their AI on the, on the field and uh, they will only respawn theirs once their squads. Without any extra fluff, let's get right into it. Okay, so what we want to do with our map setup is real simple. We, for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and use three AI spawners just so we can show you, you know, just so I can show you something a little more simple. Uh, we're going to load these down with just a couple of things. Um, I'm going to change the settings first and then I'll duplicate. But uh, after we get these set up, uh, this one's gonna have a grunt, the other one's gonna have a grunt and an elite, and then the third one will have a jackal and a brute. So once I get them all set up, we'll uh, we'll slow it back down and talk more about it. Okay, so I've got them all set up. Uh, so what you want to do is you have to make sure that triggered by script is on, as always. It's just something you have to do. Uh, face forwards, we're gonna go ahead and leave that on, and you know, of course, have your AI move zone if you have one. Uh, that's all we have to do for the setup. Aside from changing the name, I didn't change the name of these real quick, but I mean, let me speed through that. Well, no, we don't have to, because wave one, wave one one, and wave one two. That's that's fine. That's good enough. We won't have to worry too much about that. We get the idea. So that's all we have to do. We, we go ahead and place these three. And that's uh, that's it for map placement, actually. So uh, now we go into our script brain. We're going to have to place a new one, which you wouldn't believe it, but we're going to end up with three script brains. But it's not as complicated as it might sound. So I guess without anything else left to put on the map, let's uh, let's go into the scripting and see what we can get done. Okay, so now that we have our node graph open, we're gonna go ahead and go into our events as usual, and of course hit our on game start. Put it up here in the corner from our events tab. And then we can start from there. So what we're going to do is pull one of our spawners into our node graph by pressing Y or selecting it holding Y to go into the node graph, and then pressing Y to add object reference. We're going to go ahead and place it down here so we know what we're dealing with. Next, we're going to go up here to AI waves. This is important. It may sound like we're doing a firefight, but that's not exactly what we're doing here. We're going to go ahead and place this down here. Of course, add wave to wave manager. And this will get really important. We're going to change things a little differently than we did last time when it comes to the wave manager. I'm going to go ahead and place my spawn delay for the beginning of the game, as I always do, set it for, this time I'm gonna set it for four seconds so that we have enough time to get out there and you know see who spawns, see where they spawn, and, and so on. Connect these two right here on game start to wait for in seconds, then connect these two right here. Now, 
we're going to go ahead and change this right here. Wave type to default. I did find out what intermission means, and I will probably go ahead and do a video on that because it massively, massively helps for those who want breaks in between their rounds or waves without having to worry about the, uh, the end timer. So uh, we will go ahead and do a video on that. But for now, I'm just going to go for default. Duration in seconds, leave that, leave that be. And now this node is done. We're going to go ahead and connect it here to the wave. And then we're going to move this back here. Because you can't just connect a wave spawner or an AI spawner to the AI spawner list. It would work that way if it was a perfect world, but we're not. Though technically, with math, it is a perfect world. So what we have to do is we have to go into variables basic, as usual, grab ourselves an object list, and yes, it's only one spawner, but it is now converted into a list, which we can then connect these two together. All right, last thing we have to add for the wave right here is the wave options, which is all the way up here back in wave, for AI waves, wave options. Place this right here. Connect the wave options to this. And we just change some change some settings here, set the false, unless you have an incoming message, an outgoing message you want to show. Uh, delay spawn until budget, true, just in case you have more than the 32 that would spawn at one time, and go ahead and have the 100% extermination percentage, because if you want this specific AI spawner to respawn only once the team has been wiped or the squad has been wiped off of it, then you want it to have 100%. Okay, so now we are going to edit our add wave to wave manager, which normally we wouldn't have to, but now, or we wouldn't have to do anything but set it to default. But now I've figured out what these are. These, not sure still yet, but these are important. User one, two, and N through five. What we're going to do is we're gonna have this wave or this spawner set up to user one. This will separate it when it comes to the wave managers and uh, and what happens when a wave ends in this specific manager. So now that we've got this done, it will spawn one of our AIs, but only one of them. And then once we kill them, they're going to stay dead. So how do we fix that? Well, just like before, we go ahead and we make another event. And this one will be in events AI, and it's going to be on wave end place it down here and on this one we change the wave manager to user one to match the same manager that's being used in our add wave to wave manager so of course the wait for in seconds is important I'm going to duplicate that uh, this one I'm going to set for a lot shorter so that way it just they just spawn almost instantly I'm gonna I'm just gonna have it set to one second of course, you want to connect these two. And now we're going to set up our little uh, respawner that we, our respawn script that we used in a previous video. So to do this, we're going to use a lot of nodes down here in the logic category. We're going to go ahead and place a Boolean logic, the Boolean knot, the branch. And we're going to rearrange all these once we get them out here. And that's it for that. Then we need a logic compare. The last node we're going to need of course is up here in AI waves and get wave manager status. Let's go ahead and rearrange these a little bit here. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect this diamond to the diamond on branch. So that way the script runs and it connects to the branch. And here we go. So get wave manager status. What this means is it's going to get the manager that we are asking for. It's going to check only this one. So it's not going to check every single wave in the game now. It's only going to check the waves that we have set into this manager, which currently is only one. And that's what we want. So has active wave. It won't be active. Hue size. Of course, we're going to have that set to zero. So that way. Oops. That way it knows when there's nothing else spawning. Of course, and when there's nothing spawning and the round is not active, or the wave is not active, then this thing will happen, and what happens is, of course, what we're, we did before. We're going to select all of this and duplicate it. 
turns into some ugly spaghetti. But let me rearrange this real quick and we'll get back to it. So now we do the same thing we did in the other video and we connect this here. And since we duplicated, all the settings should remain the same. We shouldn't have to change a single thing at all. So now it is complete. What this will do is if we wanted to test it, we could right now. And all that would happen is one, our first spawner will spawn when we enter the game after four seconds. We kill the AI that are on it and then it will wait for one second and then spawn it again and when we kill it it will loop back around for the infinite loops now we've already done this right so why are we here let's go ahead and test it make sure she works and after four seconds there we go we have our jackal and our brute okay and see once we kill them both they respawn I remember my uh, country recording software didn't really uh, handle the explosions along with all the AI last video, so I'm going to tone it down. Okay, so we know that works. So, but we, we did that last video, so why are we still working with that? Because this is the key part. Since we have everything set up here the way we want to, to make this so easy and super simple, you simply duplicate your script brain twice because you're going to have to duplicate this script brain for each spawner that you want to act this way. So we have three of them, or however many spawners you want to be separate. So what we do now is we go back into the node graph of the second one that we duplicated, and we just change a couple things. All we have to do is we change the object reference from wave one to wave one one, or the, next, the, the second spawner we have. All these options stay the same. Except when we go to wave manager now, add wave to wave manager, we change this to user two. I'm pretty sure you know where we're going with this. Pretty much you repeat this process for each one. It looks like I selected the wrong one on this, but it's no big deal. We go back down here, we select wave one and then wave one as well up here. And then of course, once you get that set to wave one, which is the name of a different spawner we have, we can go over here and all we have to change down here are a couple of things. And that's the wave manager on both of these nodes. You want to change the wave manager to user two on this one. And then you of course want to change the wave manager on this one to user two as well. So now this one is complete. What this will do is it separates it it's looking for oh and on wave end you definitely want to change that too before i forget i almost messed that up so make sure everything in your second brain says user 2 or whatever user you have set on the script brain you're on you want them all to share the exact same wave manager which would be user 2 user 3 whatever you have set up so now that we have all of that done this one's ready the last one we need to set up is here, and it is the exact same as before. And then now, just like before, all we need to do is change the user. This one will be user 3. User 3 on wave end. User 3 on add wave to wave manager. And then lastly, get wave manager status needs to have user 3 as well. So yeah, everything is looking pretty good. And now what should happen is this one will spawn and so will this one and this one. They will all spawn at the exact same time in these three locations. This one will spawn a grunt, this one will spawn an elite and a grunt, and then this one will spawn a jackal and a brute. What the difference between my last video and this one is, is the one that spawns here, if I kill the Grunt and the Elite, these two will not activate, but this one, this one will activate. So let's go ahead and give it a test run and see what we have. Node graph built successfully, which means we know we're on the right track. After four seconds, there's the Grunt. Go ahead and kill that. And there we go, 
out for one second. Notice they just respawn, but no extra brutes or jackals spawn. Notice I'm killing all of them, and they're only respawning on their specific platforms. So that's all you have to do. You have to just separate them by waves, technically, and then add them to separate wave managers. And you have what looks like up to about seven, seven or eight. Like I said, I don't know what mode or, or map means, but of course, before starting this video, I didn't really know what they meant. So, but now I know what user one, two, I know what they all do. I know what the wave intermission means, and it's all, it's all pretty good. Uh, it's, it's simple and easy to learn, and it's, uh, I'm actually enjoying uh, doing this a little bit. So, just uh, keep the comments coming with things like that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on rolling as far as I can, and, and you know, see what else we can figure out. Alright, well, that's it. I guess until next time.